you're always struggling with keeping your lenses clean and it seems like it's a big fuss, stick around, I wanna help you out a little bit. Hello and welcome, I'm my glass Tyler. I wanna give you a few easy tips for keeping your sunglasses clean and a little bit more information for how you can keep them for longer. I don't think I'm alone when I, when I think I buy sunglasses, I want them to last a long time. I don't want them to break or I don't wanna to have to buy a new pair in a few weeks or even a couple of months. I want them to last a couple of years. Well, I have some tips to make sure kind of best practices to make sure uh, that you're doing what you can to allow these frames to last longer for you. If at the end of this, you happen to be ready to look for a new pair, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our Sea Better guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days of them. Even if you get them in prescription to figure that out, you just reach out to us. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us. All right, let's get into this. So when it comes to maintenance on your glasses, keeping your lenses clean, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Honestly, I mean, you wanna just make sure that you have a good optical cleaner. A microfiber cloth is a really good idea. When it comes to an optical cleaner, it's not a necessity that you do get a spray cleaner that's meant for prescription lenses or lenses in general. Uh, you can just use water, warm, uh, lukewarm tap water and a mild soap will work as well. Uh, the optical cleaner is just nice and convenient and you can put it in your bag or put it in your car or whatever and have it there more readily available. And while we're talking about optical cleaners, do not use anything that is astringent. So don't use anything like Windex, don't use anything that has harsh chemicals it should be a lens safe cleaner or water and a mild soap. Uh, also, you will make sure that if you are looking into those cleaners, uh, that you get ones that are an anti-reflective safe optical lens cleaner. Also, I think it's a good idea to avoid those pre-moistened wipes because the pre-moistened wipes are going to just be rubbing the dirt into your lenses and dust into your lenses and it's gonna scratch them. One thing that you get from either the water when you're running water over it or from a spray cleaner is that it does help to kind of disperse some of the dirt and dust and it does help to trap it in the moisture so that it doesn't uh, scratch your lenses. That's an issue, right? Uh, you want to avoid. While talking about scratching lenses and I talked about microfiber cloths, these are amazing, but they are dust magnets as well. So do keep in mind that if you have these, either replace them regularly or wash them regularly because these actually can go into the wash and that will keep them clean. Just make sure that you keep them in the case and away from dirt and dust to give them uh, as long of a lifetime as they can if we have to clean them uh, or throw them in the washing machine. I do avoid using my t-shirt because just like this can track dirt and dust, your shirt absolutely will and probably might even have some oils on it. If you touched your shirt at any point, it'll absorb the oils from your hands. Uh, and that is one of the most thing, uh, one of the most annoying things I think to deal with is the oils on your lenses. And so with that on the top of the mind, I wanna tell you about alcohol. Isopropanol alcohol, usually try and get something that's more in that 70% range, higher percent. Uh, isopropyl, isopropanol alcohol, because that is gonna help to cut through the oil and that uh, grime buildup in your lenses. And then with that, you wanna make sure that you kind of dig into the corners, especially because usually a lot of times what'll happen is after cleaning a bunch of times, it just pushes that oil off into the corner. And then one day you'll be cleaning, you'll kind of catch the corner a little bit and you'll just drag that oil right into the lenses. And so alcohol is a good idea to use every now and again. Do be aware that it isn't as safe with all frame materials. So you just use it sparingly and make sure you're using it just on the lenses, but it is safe with all lens coatings and all lens uh, materials. So you don't have to worry about using that on your lenses and it hurting your lenses. It's great at cutting oil and grime. And so do use that every now and again. I know I do. What I usually do, my 
like deep clean routine is hit it with a little bit of alcohol, get it really clean, get in those corners really deep, and then do the normal uh, lens cleaner or water with mild soap process because that's gonna help to get rid of all the streaks. The alcohol usually leaves some streaks, it's not as clean then you just do the normal clean routine. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about sunglasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert sport RX opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more sunglass frame reviews, unboxings, prescription sunglass content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. So now let's talk about keeping them in good shape. So as Sunglass Rob always says, on your face or in the case, that way you don't have to replace. It can be inconvenient, but also save the investment. You know, you made the investment. There's a fair chance if you're looking at this video here that you have gotten them even in prescription. So that's even more of an investment. And so just have your case. If the case that your frame came with is big and bulky and you don't have a place to put it, there is probably a place that you can get a more low profile case case for them just to keep them safe. It's a really, really good idea to do that. Uh, I usually recommend not putting your sunglasses on your head or on your shirt front. Uh, I know in particular, I will occasionally put it in my pocket and inevitably that always happens to be the time that I have to bend down and pick something up and it falls out and it always goes lens first. I don't know what it is about sunglasses, but it's always gonna be lens first and it's gonna scratch your lenses and you're gonna be very mad about it. It's nice and convenient at the time and then you regret it, unfortunately. So I don't recommend doing that. Uh, if you do need to set them down, make sure that you place them upside down, not lens side down. This seems uh, like it should go without saying, but I always make sure that I do that instead of that because again, lenses directly on any surface, there's probably dirt, dust, it'll mess them up, so don't do that. Now, last but not least, and this is a big one, and I can say that I am uh, guilty of this as well, avoid excessive heat, especially your car. Do not leave your sunglasses in the car because heat will mess up your lenses, especially prescription lenses, because there are coatings on the lens, some that are, I mean, any coating that's applied to the lens is gonna differ a little bit in makeup from the lens material itself. And so what happens most commonly is an anti-reflective coating. And on sunglasses, that would be on the back side of the lenses. It is more rigid than the lens material or even than some of the other coatings. And then in the heat, the lens material will expand or contract and the coating will not. And so you'll get these little hairline cracks, hairline fractures all over the, the coating. And then you'll notice you put them on one day and you're like, oh, these feel like they need to be clean. You clean them and they can never get clean. It's just, it's not a good deal. So definitely avoid putting them in a hot car. On that same token, you want to avoid uh, using boiling water uh, to do, I mean, anything. Honestly, that's lenses and frame. Uh, if you use anything that's super hot, that can mess up your, your frame and your lenses. So don't do boiling water, avoid that. I, I just have to add that in there. So that wraps it up for some top tips about how to clean your lenses, as well as how to give you a little more longevity out of your sunglasses. I hope this was interesting. I hope that you found something useful in this. You learned maybe one or two things. If you do have any questions, do not ever hesitate to reach out to us because we love hearing from you and we will absolutely help you. Uh, and if you are ready to order again, don't forget about that Sea Better Guarantee. I think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, again, us opticians, I think that's like peak peace of mind. No, make sure you get it right the first time. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, you guys. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too, because I think we have great stuff and I think you'll enjoy it. Otherwise I wouldn't recommend it.